everyone, Techman Pat here. We're at the Sun Grow booth and I want to introduce you to a very special gentleman, Graham. Hello, good morning. How are you? Good to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thank <laughs> I've you. I've seen your videos. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I want to learn about Sun Grow. If you can yeah. tell me a little bit about the brand. Yep. Yep. what you guys are doing for the solar and battery industry in Australia, yep. and of course about your role. And then I want to learn about all the great stuff that SunGrow right. has to offer. Well, we've got a lot to go through here, so let's get started. SunGrow themselves, we've been manufacturing renewable energy products since 1997. We've been in the game a long time, and we've got a huge range. We've been in Australia since 2012. Wow, okay. But yeah. it's quite a long time. I joined in 2018, so I've been coming up for eight years now with the company. I've been in the business for about 16, 17 years. I've seen a lot of change. Right. Most of it through Sangro here. So yeah. product range, we do everything residential PV, residential battery. We've got the iSolar Cloud monitoring. We've got a huge commercial range, everything up to the megawatt scenario. And of course, we've got the EV chargers as well. So with residential, obviously batteries are the talk of town. Why yeah. is that important? Okay, the main thing about the batteries is you can store your energy production during the day into the battery and use it at night. So in effect, you're actually getting power from the sun at night, which right. is pretty cool, I think. That's great technology. It transfers yeah, the energy yeah. from day to yeah, night when yeah, you use yeah. it. So take me through some of the technology that SunGrow has. Okay, this is our uh, the hybrid range. Now, a hybrid inverter is a solar inverter and battery inverter in the one box. So instead of having two inverters, you've got the one. This is our SBH range battery, which is the high output. And you can have up to 40 kilowatt hours on one stack. You can have up to four stacks in parallel, if you like, as well. The hybrid inverters come in single phase and three phase up to 25 kilowatts. So that really suits from a small house right up to even a small commercial business or right. even large commercial as well. The install company will advise you on the most suitable model for your conditions. But you? you've also doing a vehicle to grid, right? Yeah. And that's quite new in Australia. It's not yeah. yet been rolled out fully. What does that actually mean for okay. residential? And what it basically does is you can plug your car in and if necessary, you can take the power from your car battery and feed it out, sell it to the grid. Now, obviously we have to work in conjunction with all the energy retailers and the standards to get it right. We've got all what we need to get it working, but we're just waiting on the national coherence, yeah. if you like, to, to, to get it all working, but it is there. When we developed all these systems years ago with the iSolar Cloud, all of this was built into it, ready to get switched on. And now you've got a new cloud system to control all the of this? The iSolar Cloud, yeah. It's a cloud-based technology that controls the entire system. And for the end user, it's uh, available on their iPhone on or Android or whatever on the app. It's called yep. the iSolar Cloud. So the end user can have a look, see what the system's doing. You can also go in and control the system if you like, if you want to take control of it. It's all here. And if we look at my system at home here, I can look right now and in real time, I'm producing being the morning, 716 watts of power. Wow, okay. We're charging the battery. And so for from a residential point of view, if I have a charger, I can yes. tell it to be charging the car yep. just Equal from charging. solar, for yep. example, yep. and the, then the battery or vice versa. With the iHome manager, that controls the battery charging for the car. And you can switch it on to, if you just want like dumb charging, mm. just pull power from anywhere, or you can set it to charge only from the solar or the solar and battery, whichever you prefer. And it's all done through here. So what about the residential charger that you mentioned earlier? This must yeah. be, it looks a little bit small. It looks like it can fit in my house. So yeah. tell me about it. This is a residential charger, 22 kilowatts, or you can select it to 11 kilowatts. Yeah. You can connect it on a single or a three phase supply. So you can, any house you want, 7.4 kilowatts on single phase. Uh, it has the, the card, if you need it, you'll be supply two of them or you can just plug and play. Oh, Very right. Easy. So if you're in a, an apartment building or something, yeah, you, you can share potentially have card, sharing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's the, fantastic. The, the card, yeah, yeah. Or as I mentioned before, control from the iSolar Cloud yeah. via the iHome Manager. So you can program that it's only going to charge from what these are put, outputting. So that basically means you're not buying any power. Yeah, so technically, if solar is producing middle of the day, I might even have a lower rate if I'm with a certain yeah. company. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, I can just map this out to charge any car 
Yeah. And it yeah. doesn't matter whether it's a Tesla or if it's a different brand or anything like that? Sta standard plug okay. for Australian Perfect. cars. It's AC, yeah, yeah. so it's a standard. So I, I'm not aware of any cars that it doesn't fit the plug. Uh, it comes with a five meter lead. You can buy a seven meter cable okay. if you like. When they come into the country, we've got a warehouse at Smithfield, outside Sydney, mm -hmm. and we install and test all of these. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. Now that includes, to prove that these are can be installed outdoor in the weather. We put these in the shower cubicle. <laughs> turn the shower on. Prove that it's waterproof. So yeah. And what's what's this version this of the battery? Is the, this is the SBR battery. Okay. This is the original range. Yep. Uh, residential range. Uh, we had to do the SBH to uh, cope with the high demands of the three phase inverters. So this would be specifically for three phase or single. Well, you can put that any battery on any inverter. Okay. It's just that the SBH have got a higher output. When I started, a 10 kilowatt inverter was a four person lift. This is a one person lift. Wow. <laughs> just go whoop, whoop. So how long is a standard installation? Let's say you told me it's five minutes to commission things. From the inverter side, uh, basically you're just bringing your DC cables down, plug them in. And that's the solar DC cables? Yes, yep. solar DC. Uh, you're on your AC cables, plug it in. And your battery cables, plug it in on your communication to your meter, whatever, plug it in. It's plug and play. And so, it's Ethernet and Wi-Fi or? Yes, yes, Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Well, there, there's a dongle that we supply that's okay. both Ethernet, Wi-Fi. And we also have a 4G dongle if there's no internet. Okay, so this is the commercial system. This is the commercial charger, the DC charger, okay. Uh, 30 kilowatts, this is a kind of bit of a bigger version of that one there. That's there, and that's generally for commercial situations. This here, this is our new 110 kilowatt hybrid Whoa. inverter. Chunky. 110 <laughs> kilowatts. It's based on our popular uh, SG110CX commercial inverter, but it's been made into a hybrid, so we can now stack these batteries on. These are much bigger than the residential yes. ones. What's the What's the difference here? How well, the, the, the higher power. Higher power, yeah, so output. It's the same technology, but yeah. it's just a higher power output. Uh, because obviously you need quite a substantial voltage and current to produce 110 kilowatts. So this is all, this has just been released now. Nice new look, yep. nice new LED panel here. And once again, like everything else, you commission it using the app. So it's very easy to commission. You should be able to completely commission this system in about five minutes. Right, wow, yeah, okay. That easy. Yeah. And I saw on the one over here, there's a little card tab. Does that yeah. mean oh, people yes, can yes. up and, so if you're, let's say you're in a business, you'll have yeah. a card access and you can tap it and get free charging at work or commercially you can pay for it. Is that uh, right? Yeah, there's different ways. Uh, there's the, the cards that we supply with the unit. So like if you have shared parking, you can set it so that it will only charge with the card or you can put these on like uh, ChargeFox apps and, and oh, things okay, like that. Yeah. So somebody has a ChargeFox account, it's all on the app and they just pull up, plug it in, switch it on and it will charge. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, okay, yeah. so you integrate with ChargeFox. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, fantastic. Amongst, uh, 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 other few as well, so. Now it does get bigger than this. I saw it early before. <laughs> it does. What is that? Right there. <laughs> now, I, I generally don't involve too much in this size of system here. Sure, I'm sure. more specialized in the residential size. This is for the power stations. And SunGhost works in that region yeah, too. Yeah, globally. These are like megawatt size stations, yeah. right? Producing, so we might even be using power that's coming from one of these right now. SunGrow globally installs these megawatt systems as well. We do everything from two kilowatts up to megawatts. That's crazy. I, I can't believe SunGrow has that breadth of range. We've got uh, literally millions of plants <laughs> across the globe. Yeah. Like tw I think there's over 20 million pieces of equipment connected onto the iSolar cloud. Wow, and, and just in Australia or over the world? Global. Globally, yeah, yeah. brilliant, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much, Graham. Yeah. I really appreciate you taking this yeah. through us. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out the links below for SunGrow to learn more about their offering, whether it's commercial or residential and uh, we'll have more coverage of the sun grow technology on the channel so stay tuned for that thanks and bye <laughs>